morning, Minecrafters. Welcome to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventures. Okay, so we're obviously on my server here. Um, there's some changes that have occurred. Um, I'm no longer hosting this server on my home computer uh, downstairs in the server, which was a machine uh, dedicated for Minecraft. Um, things have gotten to the point where obviously I need uh, I needed better processing and better RAM. It mostly was the RAM. Uh, I went with a very games server and so far so good every it looks like it's or it feels like it's just like the, the regular experience and uh, let's see there's nobody on yes there's only six slots on this one um, I got a six slaughter one because you know the most uh, that there ever was on the server was about five people I think at once so with that in mind uh, um, I decided to pick the six slots uh, and I guess if we grow um, if there's uh, or people out there interested then uh, definitely you know for sure we'll yeah we'll add more slots uh, maybe as people donate and help with the server uh, then we'll increase the bandwidth and all that one st all that wonderful fun stuff. So yeah, so how is everybody? <laughs> uh, Jonathan just came back from vacation. Um, well, I guess you could call it a vacation. His little trip to Stockholm. I wish you well, my friend. Um, then we have a Josh. Yes, hello Josh. I hope you're doing well. Uh, everything's going good on the server. Looks like we finally have a stabilized uh, lag free experience, is what it seems. Oh, let's see if we can take them out. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, oh, and I've been busy. Yes, as you can tell. <laughs> let's go check it out. This is a little pit area here. I can't remember if I showed that off. And here we're off we go to the Arboretum. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Looks very square, yes. But once you go inside, ta da! Yes. This is the Arboretum. It's basically a big you know, tree farm. Um, I didn't design it for efficiency. Uh, I designed it for you know, looks. And I think it is... It's efficient enough. Um, and by that I mean, you know, if you're in here, you're, you're running around chopping trees down, you know, chopping down your jungle tree. Uh, doing all that fun stuff, uh, making sure or making sure you're collecting saplings. You know you're doing all that fun stuff. Uh, this all seems to be a very decent size. Um, I put in all kinds of interesting. I put water down there. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So this platform is for all the the jungle trees to grow. Uh, this center one is for single jungle trees. because I find you get the most saplings from the single trees than you do the big trees. Just the leaf coverage per sapling is is greater with uh, one size tree instead of a four size tree. Uh, yes, these grow on their own, which is good. <laughs> so you can harvest those. And then these ones over here, basically we got you know, double oak. Your birch, your pine, and jungle, all here, all within grasp. And then in each of the corners, there's uh, furnaces. Uh, I've been busy filling them up with wood and 
processing charcoal so that way then if you have any kind of smelting projects then the arboretum would be the place for that so just a little storage room uh, store bone meal extra yeah, axes because we have enough bones oh, we've been converting the bones into bone meal this is where we we've been storing it for the usage of the trees huh. there we go so yeah so the arboretum <laughs> uh, I also have another project that I would like to show um, it's currently in progress um, it's it's to handle the the dungeon world or the world where you'll go to and you'll be able to discover dungeons and whatnot everywhere. Ah, uh, okay, let's see here. Oh yeah, I guess I have to make a door, an entrance on the way out here. I think the time has come for that. Maybe a piston door, I think, maybe. I don't know. I might do some piston. I don't know if I'll do it on camera because it just doesn't work. Because you have to fiddle around with it, you have to get it to work. And I don't think it's as exciting as people think it is. Uh, more, it's just understanding the concepts of redstone and, and how to work them. Oh, here we go. And so it begins. A knockback. Oh, there's a skeleton there too. Let's do my smite. Ouch. Oh, okay, that doesn't hurt. I got two hits, that's not bad. Oh, there's another skelly. What's my brightness set to? I bet you can't even see. Ooh! Oh, that's the new change. Oh, yeah, I knew that would happen. I should have checked my YouTube settings. Oh, there we go. Much better. Uh, there we go. So, on the very game server here, it looks like mods do work. Or pl mods. Plugins. Um, I find it a little bit of a different experience than on my own computer here on the same network. Uh, it just seems... Oh, that was close. I don't know. It just it seems a bit laggy in that respect. Ooh. Hey. Whoa. I didn't realize it was two. Come on. Oh, I'm so glad I got this iron armor. That's so helpful. No, just kidding. I don't like to. I'll have music playing in the background. Uh, if I in the edits, if I don't, forgive me. Uh, okay, excellent. Whew. That was a little bit of some combat. Now I think you might be able to see what uh, what I've been doing over here. So, over here what we've got is a little project I've kind of came up with. Um, not sure if I'll add more details to this. Let's make sure there's no zombies. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll add more details to this, but uh, I like it. I like the look of it. I like the roughness of it, just to make it look aged a bit. I know I can add probably some more mossy cobblestone. And I'll probably do that eventually. But yeah, you basically walk through and it teleports you. I might change the orientation of this because you face this way when you come through. So I might change the portal to go the other way. And that's the only time that cheap mode is turned on for me to use these you know, bedrock blocks. Ooh. 
for there we go yeah for for this area and so basically this area is used for well right now nothing it just goes here to the portal um, I'm going to create a similar a ring around you know this portal here and then I'm going to have to explore a bit and decide where to build the fun stuff. Uh, the fun stuff is basically... Oh yeah, see, so it doesn't matter. You always face that direction. Uh, okay, that's interesting. So I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Um, but basically the portal will go to that world there that you saw and then from there players will be able to find uh, various uh, dungeons to go through and then there'll be you know, loot in the dungeons and uh, players will be able to go and, and tackle you know the different dungeons uh, there'll be different sized ones and they'll go all the way down to bedrock some of them and so yeah it should be very interesting and, and exciting to, to see um, I might be saying I'm a lot, so please forgive me for that. <laughs> it's, I, I don't have anything planned. But yeah, I guess there's that little trip, that little... So those are what I've been working on. Uh, but mostly what's taken up my time was to build this, was to just melt the glass and place the glass in there. Because uh, everything I do on here, even though it's a server and I do have the cheat mode, I refrain from using the cheat mode. Uh, I keep, I try and keep it to true, true legitness, <laughs> just to make sure that everything is is done proper and built by hand, and isn't augmented by a, f a flight or any kind of weird mechanism like that. Because yeah, this is creative, but it's also meant to be played and to enjoyed. You know, play it in survival, so where if you fall, you die, type of thing. So, yeah. Uh, I definitely need to work on this tower a bit more. From On the outside, it's all this cobblestone. I can definitely change it up a bit. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. So far, so good. Uh, nobody's online today. Usually there is. But yeah it should be exciting again with everybody at least i hope there'll be no more lag issues those will be resolved uh, they seem to have been resolved uh, what else is there the plugins seem to be working great with uh, bucket uh, everything seems to be working just fine uh, as you noticed earlier the creeper explosions are disabled yeah I just decided to try that for a bit. You know, the damage still is there, and they still explode. You know, giving you the damage or anybody else, but they just won't damage uh, the land, the terrain, or any kind of blocks. Because it got annoying there at one point where it would it'd destroy the blocks, and you'd always have to repair them. Uh, that's the only kind of. But I don't know. We'll see. I might change it where the creeper explosions would be immune in, uh, like, there'd be no block damage within the world guard zones, but maybe there'll be full block damage out in the wilderness. Uh, so that way then when you're out harvesting or mining or doing any of that, then at least, you know, you can still have that chance of, of the creepers blowing up and doing damage to the land and to you. Uh, but they're still scary, even though they do the damage that they do. Uh, you can die, and then you can lose your stuff there. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. Uh, with the money mod, uh, everything is looking good. Uh, right now, the money's pretty useless. Uh, the only thing right now, a charging admission would be going to that other world. Uh, it's 125 credits a portal, so... I put it up steep just so that way it can eat up uh, credits and uh, to make it like an investment for players to go to that world. So yeah, 
you thank everybody for watching. Uh, nothing very exciting this time around, but you know the Arboretum was built. I'll have to show more on that later. And yeah, you thank you everybody. Um, you thank you to the new subscribers there. I've, I've noticed there's a, a couple new subscribers, so thank you. Uh, thank you for your support. And yeah, and if you're you're all wondering how to get onto the server? Well, you all just have to PM me. Uh, contact me. You get to know me. Who knows? Or if you know any of the other people on here, um, have them refer you on. So yeah, so thank you. And you all have a great Minecraft day. <laughs>